This video is sponsored by Tokyo Treats and Sakurako. Anime conventions are places where people who like anime or cosplaying come together, meet up, have some fun, maybe find some merch, and just enjoy without any judgment they get from their normal day-to-day -day life. Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Rosmo, and I've gone to a couple of conventions, dating back to when I was in high school with my old friend group that disbanded, which, not gonna lie, all of my high school friend groups are apparently not friends with each other anymore. I'm still friends with them, so I have to like separate myself and distribute equal equally the time that I have to meet up with them. It's like playing Sims in real life, except I've never played Sims before and all I know is I drag myself to and fro places and hope something interesting happens. Anyway, last December 2022, I went to a convention called Cosmatsuri. And for those convention goers, you guys know that there were so many crazy things that happened there. And when I say crazy, it's the kind of crazy that makes me lose trust in humanity. But I wanted to tell you my experience at the festive event and not anything else. I'll talk about the tea later, don't worry. I thought of wearing my cosplay while in line, but decided not to because I don't want to die. This is big brain time. This is the Philippines, hello? I'll be sweating like crazy with this long ass wig and dress. Luckily, I wore an equally hot outfit. A red leather jacket, skinny jeans, and red heels. This Was it hard to stand for three hours in heels? Yes, but I looked hella good. Also, the initial thought of wearing heels is that it hurts your feet, but I feel like if you get used to it, you can wear them for long periods of time and not hurt your feet. Of course, don't push yourself to wear it all day, but I can gladly run in heels. It's not that painful. Depending on the height of your heels and if you're wearing those gosh darn stilettos that I refuse to wear because my balance sucks balls and I'm sure that I will drop to the ground like a newborn bebe on my first steps in one of those. I don't like stilettos. So anyway, we lined up at 8 a.m., got in at 10.30, and then finally I could go in and change into my cosplay. Mind you, this is the first ever complicated cosplay that I've ever done. The first time I'll be wearing a wig too, so I was absolutely clueless. Luckily, there were two girls in the bathroom mirror who looked like veterans doing their makeup, and I got so pressured that they would judge me if I wore my wig wrong. So I did my absolute best trying to do this as proper as I can, which they probably weren't judging me at all because they were too busy prepping themselves up. Nevertheless, at that moment in time, the only thing in my mind was, don't screw up, they're looking at you. They were not. I did a good job in the end with my wig, but I wasn't doing a good job because I wanted my cosplay to be perfect. No. Looking back on it, I was just worried they were silently giving me the side look, telling themselves, <laughs> look at her, she's obviously new. You gotta have more pins than that. Oh my gosh, that's so wrong. But now I feel like their thoughts were along the lines of, my eyeliner isn't even. <laughs> Why did I get the pencil when they have the liquid version of this? Yeah! So anyway, I was walking along the convention thinking I could just stroll around looking at cool art, but a lot of people stopped to ask me for a picture, which... Yeah, I know. Fancy looking cosplay. Of course, at least one person will take a picture of you. But when I cosplayed Lila, or Layla, I thought people hated her because I've never heard anything from her since her release. So I thought nobody's gonna ask for me. So every time someone asked for a picture, I was not prepared. And I just used the sleeping pose like this, and <laughs> I don't wanna forget. So embarrassing. There was even one dude with a fancy camera who asked for three pictures, and I did three poses. Three poses that I thought would look good, but in drawing. It does not look good in real life. I was just dreading the whole time and just wanted it to be over. I felt like I was disappointing him by not giving him a good photo. Then, as soon as he was out of my sight, I completely forgot about it and just pushed through the sea of people in the convention. I mean, I beat myself up over it, but I'm not gonna do it forever. I don't have the time for that. I looked around to see if I could buy anything, but things are just more pricey in conventions. I found a little circle Ito pillow and just wanted to get one, but... Oh, how much for the Ito pillow? Takte, tatagalugin ko lang. Oh, yung kita man eto. Magkana po tong unan? Ah, yan, G. Nanhanad po yan. Fur, fur. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. I wanted to get at least a cute pillow or prop for my costume. Then I saw this little mushroom pillow, a lot smaller than the Ito pillow, and I thought it'd be perfect. Eh, kuya, magkano po yung maliit po dun sa taas? 900 din po yan. Yan. <clears throat> Sige, wag na lang. Thank you. I left speed running. I couldn't believe it was that pricey, but I wasn't surprised either, so I just let that cute little mushroom be the one that got away from me. Keep your damn mushroom. I'll, I'll just stare at it from afar. I know making custom stuffed toys and pillows isn't that easy, but personally, I'd rather save up. I'm sure someone else would be willing to buy it, but it's just not for me. I would never spend so much money on things that I don't... 
one of the things that caught my eye is a stall full of magazines and art books, which of course you know I wouldn't pass up. And in the corner of my eye, just by the edge, I saw this one art book of Kanae from Neji Sanji. And I loved watching clips of him in Kuzuha way back when. So when I saw this, you bet your ass I'm getting this. I looked at the price and... <sighs> Check, please. <laughs> I can't help it. I like art. And I like watching this streamer. Just look at this artwork. Or this one. Oh my gosh, and this one. <clears throat> I also got this little cute Sakura card captor inspired comb. I don't comb a lot, if at all, but this made me comb my short hair every single minute of the day. In the afternoon, I met up with my family to go to the pet friendly hotel that we booked, and what do I see? My little fourth month old Shih Tzu puppy named Lupin behaving in the cage. Hello, Lupin. You're sitting like such a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you. Uh. The car ride was a mess. Lupin smelled sour. Lucy, my nine-year-old dog sitting in front of with my dad, would circle from the front to our seat to the back, shedding everywhere. Just back and forth and back and forth. I was so excited to get to the hotel because my mom had my cosplay shoes, which are basically the same heels, but yellow and shiny and asymmetrical like this. My mom also had my brother's helmet for his cosplay that he was supposed to wear but forgot in the morning. Suffice it to say, my parents are goaded for reals. When we got to the hotel, I tried the shoes on and ugh, it was bigger. Bigger is not always better. I bought this online so I'm not surprised it was a tiny bit big, but the space in these kinds of shoes made it a lot harder for me to walk. That's quite big. Ayona? Pagod na ako eh. Sino ngaling? Malungkot ka lang kasi hindi kasi yung sapatos na sayang pera mo. Sira ka ulo. Oh, pagod na ako. Bye-bye. I went back, took off all the makeup I had and the wig, and put on some super comfortable shorts and a large t-shirt. And then I proceeded to play with my dogs and admire the merch that I got from the convention. I regret leaving my brother alone because I said I'll go with him, but at the same time, I don't regret anything. I've been walking on heels for hours and I just needed a break after such an eventful morning. So, about the controversy. Just a little tea I got a whiff from before they deleted the post on Facebook, but allegedly, a Yor and Lloyd cosplay was doing something completely inappropriate in such a public setting. I won't spill what specific action that was, but just know that it was completely out of pocket. <laughs> and what made it worse is that they did the deed while they were sitting beside a child sleeping. Also, a Nahida cosplayer was caught making out just basically excessive PDA with her boyfriend in public. There was a video, but it was taken down almost instantly. Luckily though, I have never encountered them, not one of them, so it didn't really ruin my experience for the convention. I only knew about it because of the word of mouth from convention goers and the Facebook page, of course. I would have been extremely uncomfortable if I had to witness any of those events happening. I feel bad for the future people who would cosplay as Yor and Lloyd. Everybody would be reminded of this. What's worse is that I have friends in Malaysia Asia, and the news even reached them. That rarely happened. The lesson here is if you're going to a convention, just don't do anything inappropriate and be a decent human being. Soga is so close to Moa. Like, come on. You can afford a ticket to a convention but not a hotel room? Come on. Anyway, I promised a story time and you got a story time. I wanted to make more of these. Hopefully I can keep making them with the help of my brother who is also my editor. <laughs> Speaking of my brother, some of you asked me to bring him to a video, so comment bring Ross bro so I can drag him into a horror game stream and most likely animate it like the corpse party one. To convince you, this is what he sounds like when he's playing a not so scary horror game. <laughs> <laughs> If Lloyd can find your, you can find someone to share this video sponsor with. Tokyo Treat and Sakurako welcomes the month of love with these themed boxes. Each box comes with a magazine to show you what's in store inside with an ingredients list and common allergens. Tokyo Treats is your go-to if you want those modern pop themed knickknacks you only get in Japan. But if you're the kind of person who wants the taste of traditional Japanese snacking culture that you can only get 
in Japan, Sakurako is the box for you. Sakurako partnered with Osaka Prefecture this month to give us the Valentine's Bliss themed box, where they have snacks like the strawberry daifuku, choco mochi that was very chewy and tasty, you should give it a taste. And in the box, they have this really cute kinchidori soup bowl. I'll use it later. Tokyo Treat gives us my snack in Valentine, featuring snacks like Kit Kat Lucky Daifuku and the Karai Ramen that I tried. For once in a sponsored video, I can finally try the noodles they send me. And yes, it is spicy and yes, I love it. It's very... malinam nam though. It's more umami than the regular noodles that I get to usually eat, and I'm all for it. I also ate the noodles in the bowl that Sakura Ko gave me, so look at it. It's really cute and adorable. Use the promo code ROSMA to get $5 off of your first purchase. Thanks again, Sakura Ko and Tokyo Treat for sponsoring this video. So yeah, big thanks to my patrons, as well as my patrons in the Butternut tier. Piranet, Jacob K, Minehack, Christian V, and Cross. And also Epic Knight in the Dill Pickles tier, still going strong. 